Well, Cirque Dreams Illumination, its influence came from the streets. Um, it's very urban, and it was my desire to put this type of show in front of audiences in its almost natural, raw state. I think for many years, people that have seen Cirque-style shows think of the fantasy and the amazing costumes and sort of out of the world. I wanted audiences to understand that these artists that come from all over the world are just everyday, ordinary people, just like us. September 2009 is when we launched Cirque Dreams Illumination. It actually was conceived in 2007, so there was a two-year pre-production process. Um, the show opened with 25 performers. It now has 30. The evolution process continues to engage new artists, new concepts, um, new set elements. I mean, today there's over a thousand costumes and props that are displayed in this two-hour journey um, of Cirque Dreams Illumination. So I was fortunate enough to be uh, at Heinz Hall, actually, I think it was in the late 1990s, uh, with Cirque Ingenue, which was one of my first creations, uh, which went on to be a, a nationally televised PBS television special, and had great success with that. Um, a couple of years ago, I, along with my brand, made my directorial debut on Broadway, um, the first ever Cirque show to perform at the Broadway Theater on Broadway, Cirque Dreams Jungle Fantasy. And now we're back with Illumination. It'll be touring through 2012. So visiting Pittsburgh, we're pretty much at the beginning. Um, people are going to get to see things that other people have not seen in the world yet, uh, not to mention the fact that we're opening again here tonight. The holidays, we sort of gave our company hiatus and relaxed for two weeks so they could celebrate. Um, so we're adding new costumes, new performers, opening tonight here at Heinz Hall. So it's really going to be a great experience in Pittsburgh.